it's grown, as have its primary competitors, namely the Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic. Unlike the carefree, ride M hard Centris of yore, today's version is no longer Nissan's entry-level model, having ceded that position long ago to the Versa. As such, the Sentra no longer can get away with being basic, so Nissan turned the seventh-generation car into into a Mini Altima when it was introduced for 2013. Like the Altima, the Sentra received an extensive mid-cycle redo for 2016 to visually align the whole sedan family with Nissan's bolder new look established by the 2016 Maxima. Everything from the A-pillars forward the front fenders, headlamps, hood, and fascia is new and, in most respects, improved. Outback, the rear bumper is fresh, as are the tail lamps, which ditch the dazzling, all-lead treatment, which we considered a bit pretentious back in 2013, for a rather less interesting combination lamp containing one arching lead light tube and one traditional bulb. The wheel designs are new, as well, with the fluted 17, inches on our red Sentra SR test car looking particularly slick. In an effort to class up the dowdy interior, Nissan changed the trim pieces on the center stack, the console, and the doors, and it swapped in the three-spoke steering wheel design from the 370Z. All but the base S and Fe Plus S trim levels also get new gauges flanking a vertical center screen with multiple information displays. A new shift lever for the continuously variable automatic transmission also enters the picture.